Hey there. So here I am outside of another Shrine Center. Uh, this particular one here is in Columbus, Georgia. This is a, uh, uh, a, a shrine, this isn't a Shrine Temple. Sometimes the Shrine Centers are regional. And this one is, uh, is, is a smaller, I guess it's a club is what you'd call it. This would be a Shrine Club as it says right there. <laughs> Makes it easy to remember what it is if it says it right on the sign. But this is a Shrine Club in Columbus, Georgia. They are part of the uh, Alsaia Shrine Temple or Alsaia Shrine Center now, as they're called, because they, they dropped the word temple um, there in Macon, Georgia. This, uh, this particular building has been here several years, many, many years. They've often thought about selling it, but right now they, they do bingo. Uh, the great thing about this property is they've got a nice big parking lot. They'll also rent this out for, for different things, but uh, I am Tony. I'm trying to live the coolest life, and we're going to try to go inside, see what the inside of it looks like. Maybe you want to rent it. Maybe you want to become a member. You never know, because I'm just living the coolest life. Good news, I got in. <laughs> I used to have a key to this building, but I don't anymore. Uh, although I am a, a member of the Shrine, I'm not technically a member of, of this club. This club's uh, major fundraisers are bingo. Uh, they didn't used to have, they had bingo for a long time, then they got rid of it. And uh, bingo can be very uh, manpower intensive. And you can, sometimes you can burn your members out on the, working it all the time. But uh, if you do a good schedule, you got some good leadership, you can definitely be successful with bingo. Uh, they do it, uh, uh, two nights a week down here at the uh, Columbus Fort Benning Shrine Club, which is what this is. But this is the main entryway here. And then they will have bingo down here in this hall. They definitely got, got a good setup for bingo. And uh, they call numbers and inside that cage there. They got a little locked up because they, I think they do have some, they have some funds in there that they distribute. Uh, but it's a very nice setup. You can actually rent this out for weddings and, and different events. I know the other uh, uh, Prince Hall Shrine will actually come here and meet uh, and have their annual meeting inside of this room. And we thought about using this for Scottish Rite sometimes because we're about full. We had about 60 members at our last meeting, and that's about put us at capacity, especially with uh, COVID going on. But uh, this room is a, is a good-sized room that you can spread out. Uh, it's got great ventilation and everything. Uh, older buildings tend to have uh, issues with leaks. Well, it also happened with, uh, with this uh, uh, facility. So that, that's an ongoing thing, especially when they, a lot of these older buildings were built with flat roofs. But uh, this particular building is, uh, is in really good shape. And at one time we had a, a Shrine Circus, and it's kind of rare for a, um, for a club to have a Shrine Circus. In this case, this club put on a Shrine Circus for, I don't know, 40, 50 years or something like that. And uh, I'm in this picture somewhere. Oh, yeah, that's me right there. <laughs> I'm one of those. I'm one of these clowns. Uh, I used to clown with these guys. Uh, still got a clown unit. And um, uh, but anyway, it's a good time. This year is 2016. You dress up, entertain the kids, have the have the full fledged circus. I mean, it's full fledged shrine circus. Uh, we do it right here in town at the Civic Center. So this is the shrine. Uh, the, the main room. We've got the uh, restrooms in the back, there's restrooms in the front, and also through this door here is actually a full-size kitchen, and we've got a small dining area in this room, this way here. So they do have a, as I mentioned, they got a, a full-size kitchen. If someone wanted to cater something. Right now, we've got a group out back that is uh, smoking some Boston butts at one of the local lodges. Rose Hill Lodge actually is our, our smoking some bus. They've got some cookers out here, but they've got a, just a nice piece of property out here to do uh, things like that. Partly because it's fenced in all the way, so you don't get anybody walking through, and that's that's some of the guys working there. And that's why I'm here actually to volunteer for. It. We're cooking about 130 butts, um, and uh, got most of them already sold. I mean, most of them, I mean like 95% of them already sold, so they're already spoken for. But uh, this is a great place to rent out. Uh, the Shrine is a great organization. Look them up online. There is a, a lot of information about the Shrine. Every club and every Shrine um, has, has got different uh, events and um, uh, projects that they do. The main thing the Shriners also actually support are Shriners Hospitals. Uh, there's 22 Shriners Hospital throughout the world. And I say the world because there's, there's not, they're not just here in the United States. 
bulk of them are in the United States, but but not all of them. So, and also, uh, I think I've got another video of this place, which is the Shrine Center uh, in uh, Macon, Georgia. But uh, be sure to look for that video. Hey, also be sure to like and subscribe. I've got a, if you're interested in masonry, I've got about four more videos on the way. I'm about to travel to Indiana and I'll be uh, looking at some uh, lodges in uh, Tipton, Indiana and around Kokomo and one down in Millersville Lodge. Last year I did a, a video on Millersville Lodge in Indianapolis. The issue there was um, uh, I didn't get a very good video because too many brothers were there. But this time I'm gonna get a good video. And the reason is, is because I'm going to do it while everybody's eating. <laughs> so I won't get a chance to actually look at that lodge and look at some of the differences uh, between lodges. So it's a, going to be a really good video, uh, it, whether you're a Mason or whether you're not a Mason. It's going to give you a nice little tour inside of their, their buildings and maybe reveal the secrets of Masonry. <laughs> yeah, okay, whatever. But uh, you never know what you're going to find uh, when you're living the coolest life. So be sure to like and subscribe. And um, uh, you may be able to find us on Facebook. Maybe not, <laughs> but uh, uh, check out, uh, uh, be, uh, like and subscribe, as I mentioned, like and subscribe and, uh, and join us because we're just living the coolest life. Mm -hmm.